Regardless of which video game platform you favor, I think we can at least agree that a dream of ours is that one day we will be able to play games together online regardless of which platform we purchase a game for. Just get any version of a multiplayer game and play with everyone in the same playground. Now, some games already do this to a degree. For example, Street Fighter V for PS4 and PC allows players from both platforms to connect with each other and play together with no hassle. Even better examples are Minecraft and Rocket League, which have cross-play between Xbox One, PC, PC, and even Nintendo Switch. Super convenient for groups of people with individuals who own a wide variety of different platforms. Now, notice how the odd one out in these examples is always Sony and PlayStation. Save for a couple games that allow cross-play between PC and PS4, or across Sony platforms like PS4, PS3, and PS Vita, when it comes to cross-play with competing home consoles from Microsoft and Nintendo, Sony has yet to budge. Now, some of you may be wondering, why is Sony doing this? Is there something about the PlayStation 4 hardware or software that makes cross-play with other platforms a difficult endeavor? Well, I can at least assure you that's definitely not it. Turns out that on a technical level, cross-play between PlayStation 4 and Xbox One is very easy to execute. In case you weren't aware, a couple days ago, Fortnite, a multi-platform, multiplayer, third-person shooter, tower defense, survival game, accidentally activated this feature for a couple hours. That's right, for a few hours, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One gamers were playing Fortnite in beautiful harmony. This discovery was made by a PlayStation 4 player going by the username Precision, who noticed that one of the usernames of one of the players during a match going by Z Cypher 9 had a very unusual feature. There was a space in the name. Why is this a big deal? Well, the PlayStation 4 doesn't allow you to add spaces in your username, so this right here was impossible unless they were playing from another platform. To prove his suspicions, Precision went ahead and searched for Z Cypher 9 on PlayStation 4 and found nothing. But when he searched the username on Xbox One, bam, there it was proving that he had indeed been playing cross-platform multiplayer on his PlayStation 4 with an Xbox One user. Once word got out, others began posting their own proofs, like this Reddit user who posted a picture of him and his kid playing together, the former on PlayStation 4, the latter on Xbox One. Unfortunately, Fortnite developers did eventually patch the, uh... A bug issue? I don't know what to call it. They told website Kotaku, quote, We had a configuration issue, and it has now been corrected. In other words, somebody flipped a switch by accident, and now we have flipped it back to the way it was. What a shame, because people did have a great time with the issue while it lasted. Still, this, ladies and gentlemen, is something akin to history being made, because... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think crossplay between PlayStation and Xbox has ever happened before until now, even if it was by accident. And it's not for lack of trying. Microsoft and other companies have been pushing to implement crossplay across all platforms for a while now. As a matter of fact, after Fortnite's accidental crossplay was turned off, head of Xbox Phil Spencer tweeted that he would have liked to see them leave it on. So yeah, Microsoft is clearly on board with this. And even Nintendo is pulling their weight on the multi-platform cross-play department through Switch versions of Rocket League and Minecraft, which can cross-play with PC and Xbox One. The most painful part about all this is that, as evidenced by these recent events, the feature, this cross-play between all platforms, is actually super easy to implement. As simple as flipping a switch, apparently. So the technical aspect of things isn't really an issue. This is just Sony being stubborn. They are the only ones who don't want to play ball with the rest of the kids. They are the only ones getting in the way of universal crossplay. Now, they've provided a number of reasons and excuses in the past, but they all smell like bullshit. For example, when head of PlayStation Global Sales and Marketing Jim Ryan was asked by Eurogamer about the issue back in June 13th, 2017, here's the response he gave. 
It's certainly not a profound philosophical stance we have against it. We have done it in the past. We're always open to conversation with any developer or publisher who wants to talk about it. Unfortunately, it's a commercial discussion between ourselves and other stakeholders, and I'm not going to get into the detail of that on this particular instance. And I can see your eyes rolling. Yeah, we've got to be mindful of our responsibility to our install base. Minecraft, the demographic playing that. You know as well as I do, it's all ages, but it's also very young. We have a contract with the people who go online with us, that we look after them and they are within the PlayStation curated universe, exposing what in many cases are children to external influences we have no ability to manage or look after, it's something we have to think about very carefully. Hey Sony, fucking Nintendo is allowing crossplay for Minecraft and Rocket League, what is your fucking excuse? Well, funny I should ask that, because Jim Ryan was presented with a less bluntly worded version of the same question, and his response was, yeah, that's true, everybody has to take their own decisions, we'll do that. Like I say, we have no philosophical stance against crossplay at all. So basically, it is what it is, what are you gonna do? Let me tell you the real reason why Sony isn't allowing crossplay. It's simple, really, they wanna dominate the market, it's all about business. They know that they're leading in sales, they know that PlayStation 4 is the most popular home console of this generation, and they wanna capitalize on that. They want owners of other platforms to go, ugh, all my friends have the PlayStation 4 versions of these games. I guess I'll have to buy a PlayStation 4 to play with them. They know that their playground is more popular and they know that by separating it from the other playgrounds out there, it will make the kids go, my friends are playing tag on that more popular playground, so I guess I'll have to start playing there now. Because as soon as they allow universal crossplay, that's one less reason for consumers to buy PS4 over the platforms that they already own. And look, part of me gets it, I get that at the end of the day, Sony and PlayStation is a business, but I also think that we're getting to a point in which it's starting to get a little too petty and greedy. Honestly, Sony, you're selling PlayStations because you've got great games and great exclusives, not because of some stupid business tactics. Nintendo Switch has cross-play, but guess what? It's still sold out everywhere even six months after release because it launched with great games and continues to release a constant stream of great games. In Japan in particular, Nintendo Switch is tracking much higher sales than PS4 in the same time period. Just saying. And they didn't have to get all picky about crossplay to do it. All they did was focus on making a great console with great games, and it worked. And Sony is already making great consoles with great games, and the PS4 is selling just fine. So yeah, if you ask me, Sony has no real excuse to hinder universal crossplay. I love my PS4, I love its games and all that, but Sony stands on crossplay really rubs me in the wrong way, especially for a company that keeps proclaiming that they're all about players first. At least Microsoft, despite the fact that the Xbox One is lagging behind in sales, are open to crossplay and cool features like Play Anywhere, which allows players to purchase a game once and then play it across both Xbox One and Windows PCs with no hassle. So on that front, it actually feels like Microsoft has the consumer's best interest in mind. While Sony is approaching crossplay in a way that makes me think that this is how Don Matrick would have done it if he were in charge, which is never a good sign. So yeah, here's hoping that one day Sony snaps out of it and starts thinking about a better collective future for the gaming industry as a whole. They've got a great platform, great games, they're doing well for themselves, so it is time to bring on crossplay. It will only serve to further enrich the PlayStation ecosystem, not to mar it. There's only so far you can take being a lone wolf before it starts to become detrimental. These are my thoughts on the matter or anyway, I'd love to hear what you think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon for a chance to chat with me and other members of the community on Discord, to get your name in my videos, to play games with me, and much more. All contributions will go towards remaining 100% independent. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.